Alrighty, champs. Uh, so, as you, some of you may know, I am an artist, and I do a few comics. I've got, like, what, three so far? At the same time, four? So, uh, to be true to the name, I guess, we're gonna be looking at some comic art. But it's from the East. Yep, ancient manga art. Or, I like to call them, Japanese comics. Let's start this. I need to clean this that, this uh, monitor, seriously. I don't know how I got like this. It's just, it's a pretty old monitor. One who plays lap steel slide guitar. What's that mean? This means this. Now, the ancient lap steel guitar. Very famous in ancient China. She's wearing... There's something up with her hair. She's missing her ears and she barely has a cranium. So yes, the ancient lap steel guitar. First used in ancient China, then uh, in Hawaii, and then country music. Look at that. Look at that monster right there. What is that? Is that a monster? Seriously? Very nice. I hope she knows how to play... Uh, Hey, what's cooking? And then a few songs from Spongebob. Here we see an ancient mecha hieroglyph or something. Just a random floating window, I guess. Very nice architecture, though. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that perspective. Did they, how did they learn how to do this perspective in ancient China? Seriously. Or maybe it's not really perspective, but... Ah, well. No, okay, let's see. This is going this way. No. No, that's not correct. Oh, well. Well, maybe it is. Doesn't look correct at all. Who is this man? You see him? Barely... He looks very sheepish. He has crow's feet. The crow's feet. Very messed up ears. One hand is significantly bigger than the other. We call this the ugly bastard. As you know, ugly bastards copulate with uh, high school girls. In the natural wild. Yep. Now his gre his beard looks greasy and unkept, so yeah, I wouldn't trust this man as far as I could throw him, and you can't throw him. Who's this guy? I see a man with a uh, ripcord in his hat, meticulously writing something, or even reading something. Maybe it's like a script, right? You see all these Chinese characters. So, it may be what he's transposing onto that paper, you know? What is this? Oh, excuse me. Oh, this, this is a mangaka. Or, Japanese comic pro. Writing the first plot of a spin-off. Yep. And like, all these forced spin-offs, it'll be significantly worse. And then it'll make people... Well, it'll basically kill the property. And yeah. As you can see, he's very miserable about this. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. These wrinkles. It's just some crazy, uh... Coloring work and artwork going on here. Again, this perspective on the table. Still don't know if it's correct. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think, I think this is correct. Perspective. Again, how do they learn how to do that? Although, the, I think I'll shenanigans with this thing because it looks completely two-dimensional. Nice tree, though. And look at this uh, armchair. Very, uh... Something. So, yeah. But what's the elephant in the room? It's not this lantern or this tiger that I couldn't even see earlier. Ooh, that's a tangent. 
Yep, that's a tangent right there. Anyways. It's these two men. What do we call this genre? Yowie. It's a yowie scene. Remember the yowie paddles? Yeah. I guess they've evolved to traps now. Actually, that perspective is starting to look much worse the more I look at it. It's like this is swooping down. I don't know. Did these people ever have uh, roofs? Seriously. Or even walls? Let's move on. I, oh, before we move on, this guy, I don't know. I can't tell. If, he looks like he's smoking. Have a woman in heavy cloth. With some blue coral behind her. Some big flowers. Possibly radiation. Ooh, that's a ginormous arm right there. I don't know about that arm. That's weird. But it's so disproportionate to the rest of her body. Yeah, well, these arms are proportionate with each other, but... I don't know. It looks like if she bent that arm down, it would probably reach down to here. But, you know, she's pretty regardless. This is why she is called wife of number 34. Oh, 34, you know what that means. That means it's time to the next, move on to the next one. Wife of number 86. Now, I consider this girl much, much, much prettier. But, I have some suspicions about her. I, mm, there's something about this piece that just rubbed me the wrong way. Like, it's not actually from ancient times. And it was modernly made. Because uh, women in ancient Chinese paintings didn't really look like that. This looks a little too perfect. Or accurate. Nice. Male, or I guess it's the female peacock. Cool lantern. Well, you know. I don't know. There's some shenanigans going on with wife number 86. Dang, her hair's long. Jeez. That's awesome. Yep, a bit shoujo statue. You got that right. Now, I don't know what's so pretty girl about this, but, um... This thing creeps me out. Well, this is a very dynamic pose right here, you know? Yeah. Looks like Popeye a little bit. Let's move on. Cool little scene. These two are probably going to jump these two. Look at that. Oh no, that's not a pulse. That's just another tangent. What the heck? Oh look, there's a fight scene like it. No, it's either... I don't know which fight scene it's going to, but um... They're bringing out the Ark of the Covenant. Ow. Uh, some horse, I think. It barely even looks like a horse. This dude is about to get, uh... Sodomized by that horse. There's another dude still that's off to the side. But I believe this is a manga about life in high school, number 76. Because, uh, I swear, every... Japanese story is set in high school. It's almost never set in college. Definitely not set in elementary school. And you know, even if they're 12. But why is it always high school? It's so weird to me. I mean, yeah, maybe it's a coming of age story, but how many coming of age stories could you possibly have? There's a dude fighting a villain. Now, I can't tell if that's the villain's tail, I, but, or if it's that his headdress. Cool sword here, although I don't think you want to run your fingers along the blade. That'd be kind of stupid. Pretty cool dragon, I guess. Yeah. Lighting's pretty cool. Although this part doesn't make any sense. This dark shadow, shouldn't it continue up to here? Or no, there shouldn't even be any, like, light from here, 
it should be. Hmm. Got to fire the colorist. He kind of messed up. Yep, a big-breasted older woman who is usually an employer. And for some reason, a dragon works banner over it. Dragon artworks. Wait a minute. Is this real? Because I don't think this is real because, well, these arms are disproportionately long, but another thing. Uh, they didn't do breasts like these in ancient Chinese paintings. No way. And neither this style of clothing. They wouldn't be caught dead doing that. Alright, uh, this was helpful. Let's tell you everything about that there is to know about something. Good night.